Hi guys, my name is Coach Tabiso Elliot and they call me Coach T in short. Today I will be discussing about my playing philosophy, the style of play, formations, children for all for, for moments of play, which is attack, transition to attack, defending and transition to defend. Uh, the style of play I prefer more like teamwork, especially in the midfield. I'll start explaining from the midfield. The midfield, I prefer them to come together to find the same proximity where they can keep the ball in order to withdraw the opponents or overload that area and make a switch of attack, point of attack, when using the overlap from the fullback in order to reach in a final third or finish. If that doesn't work, second phase of it is to restart playing, building up from the back, using our back four and patiently unlocking the opponent's middle third line so we can reach into our final third as well. The formation that underpin my playing style when attacking, I prefer 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two, whereby I have uh, just three players at the back standing for in case of a uh, building up from the back or before you caught on our tag and while other full bag is over overlapping on empty space I'll discuss that later. When defending I prefer the shape of 451 when I bring one player to join the middle field from the striker. One striker join the midfield and one striker stay stay ahead for in case of a Counter attacks. During attack, this is what I'm gonna explain to you in order for understanding thoroughly. Okay, here we go, guys. During the moment of attack, this is a setup that I'll be looking for. During the build up from the back, I'll start by discussing from build up from the back. Here we have set up two teams. Why I will be working with a red and maroon or maroon and blue. So the yellow and black represent the opponents. So in this setup, when we're building up from the back, my team starts with a four full backs and two four at the back and we have middle fielders there who are three and strikers and a wing. So Whenever we're building up from the back, the screening midfielder, which is number four, he joined the back four, which is number three and five, and two here, to be four at the back against three. So they push high lines and they have to come back when they're starting. Building up from the back starters from goal kick, they move, and try to stop it here. By splitting out and playing the ball to the right or the keeper has so several options of playing left or right. He can play wherever he thinks it's safe to do so. But we normally prefer to go short. And second phase of it, he has to just play long ball on the side, not to the strikers here, to these guys if the middle field press our defense they will leave their whole space in this area that's why i prefer the keeper to play it along using our wings or midfielder or he goes short with the four option he have from the setup there you can look the defense move out as a team and come back as a team for him to have options and as soon as he build up, he, if he go to the left or right, if he go to the right in this case, you can see the players, they'll start making their moves to the right part. Like I said, we're trying to build up in the same proximity and try to penetrate from that uh, uh, pocket and overload that area in order to withdraw our opponent into the dark area so we can isolate them on other side like you see this area is overloaded here 
we're trying to sneeze with our full back from the left who's gonna try to isolate them from the other side if they are full backs they are not coming as contact as we expect them we can try to isolate their center backs to penetrate to score let's roll it up here they try to keep position in the same proximity and the switch go to the left back our full back to score or to start over if not have you to score this is one of my style of play keeping the ball more like digitaga and switch and finish okay the next moment to follow is a transition to defend as soon as you lose the position and this goes like this during the build up during the moment when we're trying to penetrate our opponent we we can lose the position you can see there this area is too congested any possibility to lose position is is on high risk as we lose position we try to keep the ball and the game position immediate action i prefer for my players is to press where about i use five players to press and five the rest of five to keep position or anticipate the long pole or the loose balls at the back if you can see here the shape at the back we can be caught off guard but the aim here is to prevent that to happen with these congested players too to, to press onto opponent and deny them with time and space to make a long ball so it can be caught off guard at the back we don't need that to happen and the, the player task here is the offensive players which is my two strikers my wings this one is a wing that one is a full back and I take him into field as their roles to press this their action they press to deny the players to not play long ball to the play to the to cut our big line off guard here and in order to deny that to happen they gotta press and deny time and space here with opponent well my one screening midfielder has to make his way back to join the the back four which full back expected to go to join his position to the set as much as possible unless he was close to action if the action the full, uh, position is being lost right here during the switch off point of attack he has to apply pressing method when my my wing has to go to cover him at the back During when they are pressing, you can see number six there making his way back to the back four. Number three, back four. One screen in the anticipating for long ball. And now, during the press, you can see here we have our back four organized very well, applying zonal marking. And the middle thread overloaded with the lines as well. The pressing is now applied from the offensive player after the beaten. They have to apply that pressing again when they're coming back to their lines. Well, they're leaving the one striker alone. In this moment, my striker who's alone here is trying to guide my center back, uh, the, the, the defending lines, the, the side to work on. For in case this time they're working from the right shoulder. He has to make sure he prevent their op they prevent opponent to go to the left and try to win and incarcerate them on the same side. As they're building up, we are now in a mood of defending. The transition to defend it happens only for 
six seven seconds of pressing and if they're not successful due to the pressure they try to apply on opponents they're not switching to the moment of defending where we apply the intelligent defending and overloading the midfield with a formation of 4-5-1 by leaving one striker long and make sure one striker can be to apply for our help in the midfield for opponent not to penetrate easily. During the defending, every player expected to, to play for their own task by keeping their lines, working as a team, communication is a key. This is defending moment where every player they work on a zonal marking when they're switching, when opponents switch, they all have to shuffle this as a team to make sure they force the uh, opponent to build up from the back. During this moment here, I'll reverse it. You can see here, the role of our striker is to prevent the center back to switch play, but to keep the ball on the same side. And as they're encapsulating them like that, the midfield can join in to try to to defend the, the play and during this moment they being successful to go through the keeper as normal and the same thing happens the striker has to make sure they don't switch play and this moment has they successfully reach our final third this moment is a moment of transition to transition to, to attack. As soon as the keeper or any player who win the who regain the position, he expected to reach a striker as soon as possible. In the meantime, the striker's role is to make sure he holds the offside line here, not to be offside. This moment, in this case, we have a keeper who gain the position back. His task is to make sure he reaches the striker straight out for attack. And in this case, we expect the goal to happen or finish from the stri uh, striker. If a keeper is not in the right position to make such decisions, if the keeper is not in the right position to make that such decisions, he can just give a player who is in the right position to make decisions like that. Thank you guys. That's my philosophy. That's how I roll. That's how I expect it. I try to perfect it day by day. It does work for me in the games and wins games for me. And I believe in it. Not hesitating to share it because I believe if I can articulate it 100%, it is unstoppable. From me, Coach T, thank you very much for watching and I expect your comments so that I can try to improve myself as well. Thank you.